Hello, everyone. Hey, like, oh my goodness, where have you been all my life? No. I just want someone to say that, number one, I know that we got off to a bit of a rocky and rough start, and that was my fault. That was entirely my fault, so I take the blame for that because you had nothing to do with it. Um, I was in school. I am in school getting my bachelor's degree in, like, graphic design, web design, crap like that, and internet marketing and stuff like that. Um, so I'm in school for the next, what, year now, and... I just felt like I was so busy that I couldn't take the time out to answer you guys' questions or come back with another video that wasn't related to school. So um, that was my fault again. I apologize for that. And so what I've chosen to do is I've chosen to come back with another series of videos in addition to the one that I already have pertaining to um, editing the blogger template. There are tons of videos out there that talk about WordPress, but there are none that talk about blogger. And as I learned, I want you guys to learn and things like that. So what we're going to do is I'm gonna go step by step. All this won't happen in one video, it's gonna happen over like five to 10 to 20 videos, maybe 15, maybe 10, but between five to 10, it shouldn't take that long. And we're gonna edit a blogger template, one that's already created. I cannot make one from scratch yet. I'm in the process of learning that. JavaScript is a, is a mother. Um, <laughs> so uh, today we are going to be editing your icons. I'm, I'm starting with the small stuff first because um, it's the easiest and it's something that, I don't know, I just like to do. I like to do first. So in this particular video, we're going to start with the icons and I'm going to teach you how to make those clickable. And of course, you probably already know, but if you don't, then this is good for you. And today we're going to do Twitter and Facebook because the icons that are already there in the default template um, I don't have any other websites for, you know what I mean? I don't have any accounts for StumbleUpon or Dig It or Delicious or any of that. I don't have an account for that. I have a Twitter account and a Facebook account, and I'm going to show you how to change those links out. So, before we get started, I want to let you know that you're going to need either a WordPad or a some type of editing, uh, um, like Notepad or something like that, so that um, you can copy and paste it onto there. You're going to need a blogger, you're going to need a template, and you're going to need your links for your or from your social media sites. Okay? Um, most sites will have you um, will have HTTPS. I will let you know right now that if you put HTTPS, um, it won't come out the way that you want it to. So you want to take the S off of the HTTP. Uh, because if you have it secured, then uh, it's not. I tried it. It's not gonna come out well. And if your default template does not have your href um, as its, you know, main default um, class already, then you're gonna need to add that to your social media site. So it's gonna be um, open bracket or less than sign um, href or a. Is it a ref? I think yeah, a ref equal sign. Is that a, uh, I can't I can't remember what the word is, but it's the this the quotation quotation thingy. And then you're gonna have HTTP colon four slash four slash www.twitter.com slash whatever your username is. Okay, and I'm gonna show you where that goes, and then that's and then we'll test it out. Okay, so let's start from the beginning and start slow. It shouldn't take you more than 20 minutes. It might take me longer than that because I'm talking slower than I usually am. So, for future, this is where I get my blogger template from. Some of them, anyway. When I want to edit them and see what I can do with them and things like that. Um, I always laugh at this guy at the bottom because he's creator of the site. And I think his name is Lasagna, even though his name is Lasanta. His name looks like Lasagna. So, I always call him Lasagna. So that's where I get my blogger templates from, and the name of my blogger template is called, ooh, cursive or concise, or something like that. So like I said, you're going to need a blogger.com, and we're just going to go to blogger.com. I've already made a test blog. Man, it's hot in here. And it's called Tester. And we're going to view it. And I've already added the type of um, layout that I want. 
the good thing about Lasantha, his blogs or his, his templates is that he gives you one with the slider magazine or without it, with it or without it. I like the one with the slider. It gives more oomph to the template, in my opinion. So this is what it looks like. Kind of looks like the other one, kind of, kind of not. I have this green and purple thing going on. Like, I love green, and then I love purple because it's my favorite color, but it's, I love green because it's bright and it just sticks out. If I could have, like, a green, gr green and purple template, then I would just, I would rock with that. So what we're going to do is we're going to change these. Not this, because I already told you how to change that, but we'll go back and do that just for this template um, a little bit later. But we're going to do this one, and we're going to do this one. Now, I've already, see the thing uh, that lets you know that it's it's already done is that, like, when you click on it, see, this one isn't done. Because it doesn't have your, like I said, I don't have an account for that, so if you don't have an account for that, it won't already be, you won't already be logged in. But if you do have an account for it, this is what it'll look like. And I actually have to change that, actually, yeah. So we're gonna switch that out for another. Okay, so here we go. You're gonna take your word editor and you're gonna go to Template, edit HTML, proceed. I like to copy it and paste it in here. Okay. This is what I like to do. All right. So, in here, we're going to start with Facebook first. I've already pasted it in here, so there's like no need to. What you're going to do is you're going to find Facebook in here. And this is the only place for it, actually. There's only three spots I already checked. And basically what you're going to do is, no, I did that wrong. You can do it from here, that's what you're gonna do, I'm sorry. I do it from there, just to make sure that, um, just to save time, so if I wanted to find it, if I wanted to hurry up and quickly edit it, if I want that I would just do it in there and just paste it in here. But you can do it from here if you want. I do it from there to just kind of find every, where everything's at and things like that so I don't have to keep going back and forth, um, pasting and copying and doing all that. It's easier for me this, that way. So what you're going to do is on a Mac, I'm always on a Mac, so I'm going to hit Command F to find. <clears throat> you're going to hit Facebook, you know. And there should only be three spots for this because I already checked it. Okay, and as you can see, mine is already in there. And I don't know why I just did that, but I did it. And I didn't mean to. Okay, so mine is already in there, but yours will have something else. Yours will look like that. A class equals add this button, Facebook, that sign. I have to figure out what that name is. I know it because I just took English, cl English class, but I can't remember what it is right now. Please don't laugh. It's not funny. And so that's what yours is going to look like. But you're, you, you need to only be concerned about this half over here, not this over here, because that's where the button is. And like I said before, we're going to change the buttons later on in, in another tutorial, maybe right after this one. I'm not sure, depending on how much time I have to get things done that I need to get done. So uh, like I said, just worry about this part right here, the A class, okay? And once you find that, you are going to... Facebook. I'm going to take I do a lot of stuff that I don't even need to be doing. It's like nonchalant. Alright. Remember I said you need your href? I keep saying href. A ref. You need that. And you by default, your link is going to say HTTPS, but you need to have it say HTTP. If you leave it, it'll probably work still. Probably. I doubt it, but it'll probably still work. Um, but I always use HTTP. And we're going to start with Facebook first. So I'm just going to copy all of this. And if you need this code, then I'll put it in the description box. 
and we're just going to where's facebook okay we got i'm gonna start i copied the whole thing so i can just do it that way it's easier for me so i'm gonna copy this whole thing and i'm just gonna hit paste okay then i'm gonna find twitter which i found already and i'm going to trying to debate whether I should change that to my other Twitter. Um, and we're going to paste that in there. Okay. And the way you know you've done it is that, like, I'm going to do it this way because this is the way I always do it. Now, you see, I just put that symbol there. The way you know you've done it right is if you save it and there's no lines under here. See all that? Read all that. It'll just let you know what's wrong. But if you take that away and save that, actually, I'm not even. Right, that, that's why I've already done Twitter. Okay, so that's how you know you've done it right. I've already done my Twitter at the top. It's, it's somewhere else. So I'm going to close it. And we're going to view the blog. Okay, so instead of it looking like what it did before, it's going to look like this. This is my Facebook. I'm into music, so I haven't added my cover yet. Wait, what did he say? Don't nobody like him. Nobody got time for that. <laughs> All right. And I think I still might need to change my Twitter. I'm not sure. But you can get the idea. I hope this has helped somebody. I really do. Let me see if I can change this. Twitter. Oh, duh. My so, the thing that I was missing was the www that I didn't have in this link right here. So, that's why it had all that mess in it. So, I'm just going to type this and copy this and paste that right there. And it should work out just fine. So, we're going to save that. because it's taking so long that means that it's right yes so the lesson here to be learned is that make sure you have all your stuff correct so instead of it looking like see that's what it should look like it should just go straight there all right So these two, because you don't have, a, I don't have accounts for these. That's what it's gonna do. That's exactly what it's gonna do. But since you put input the right information in there, oh, I'm sorry. Let me, let me refresh that. That's what it's gonna do. If you if you have that information correct, that is exactly what it's gonna do. Okay, so. I really, 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 really hope that you got something from this and you like it and things like that. If it seemed like it was a waste of your time, I'm sorry. This is just for beginners and this is just for people who really don't know how to edit a template and want to do like little stuff like change icons or, you know, put links in the icons and things like that. This is kind of an updated video and I'm coming back with another video for the widgets because I realized that the things that worked last year for like the Twitter feeds and and the Facebook um, 
like buttons and things like that, that don't work so I have to come back and like make videos for that and I have it all written down so as soon as I can get done with these tutorials I'm gonna upload these videos right onto YouTube and I hope the goodness that you guys like them and you like come visit my blog and things like that when I get that up and running and things like that so again I'm sorry for rambling and talking your ear off and not getting to the point if I didn't get to the point soon enough for you but if you like this video comment rate subscribe and I'll be back later Sooner than later, but later. All right? God bless you guys. I love you. Like Jesus loved the church. And only in that way. And I'll see you guys later. Oh, and if you have any questions, just, just ask. Toodles.